channel to today's video I am so excited about because it is one of my favorite DIYs I've ever done. I'm going to show you how I made this cube organizer. So I used to make cube organizers all the time using these um, little crates that Dollar Tree used to carry and I had a bunch of tutorials on my channel using them but Dollar Tree doesn't carry them anymore. I haven't done one of these in a long time but Dollar Tree recently got some products in that I saw and I was like you know what I feel like I can make a cube organizer out of this. And remember as always with any of my Dollar Tree DIYs you do not need to spend as much money as I did to make them. You can make yours much more small if you want to. If you just want to do like one little cubby, or if you want to do two cubbies, that's fine. It's up to you. I do have one more idea for this to kind of switch it up a bit. So if you guys want to see that, if we can get this video to 5,000 thumbs up, I will share that with you guys. So 5,000 thumbs up within the week. That is my goal. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Again, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not, and hit the bell button so you're notified every single time that I upload. With that being said, let's begin the video. So what you want to get from Dollar Tree are some of their bamboo cutting boards. Now, if you want to make one row of three of them, you will need 10 bamboo boards. Then you need a heavy duty glue. I'm using E6000 glue. Just hot glue is not going to cut it with this. You want E6000, maybe a wood glue, super glue, not just regular hot glue. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your glue and you are going to put it on both of the ends of one of those boards. This is going to be what you start off with. Then you are going to take two bamboo boards and attach them to where you put the glue on the other bamboo boards. So basically what you're doing initially is just creating a box using the bamboo boards. If you're having a hard time getting the boards to stand up straight and they keep falling because the glue isn't completely dry yet, you can take hot glue and put it on the ends of that edge where you put the E6000 super glue, whatever it is, and that way the board will stay up but still have a better adhesive than just hot glue. You know, there's still gonna be E6000 on there, but it'll be in place because the hot glue's already holding it in place. I don't know if that makes sense, but you know, you could do that if you want. Like I said, if you're gonna make one row of three cubbies, you just need 10 boards. That middle board section that you make out of the four boards, well, the top and bottom of that is going to act as the bottom shelf for the top shelf and then the top of the bottom shelf. I know that doesn't probably completely make sense. I'm not the best at describing things. I'm really not, but you can see what I mean. You don't need four boards for every single cubby because the middle shelf acts as the bottom for the top shelf and then the top for the bottom shelf. Again, I don't know. Just just do what I'm doing and you'll you'll be okay. Now I made three of these total, so I had nine cubbies total, depends how many you want. You can always attach all of your rows together. I decided to keep them all separate because that way I can change this around. If I want to add four to it, I'm not going to have a hard time doing it. I just wanted three different ones. If I want to stack them all on top of each other, I could do that as well. Like I said, what I did is I placed each row that I made side by side. And I'm telling you guys, it doesn't look like something from Dollar Tree or something that was made with Dollar Tree products in the slightest. It looks like I legit bought it this way. Now I filled it up with things that I like. Dollar Tree does carry these black containers, which I ended up using. And then these wire containers that look um, almost like a square shape. You got to bend them inward if you want them to go inside of your cubby. But there's different items you can use if you're trying to look for little like storage bins for this little cubby. So that is it for this Dollar Tree DIY. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see another one similar to this, please give the video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.